Doug, how'd you feel about your uh, starting defense tonight and their play? Other than the uh, two-minute drive at the end of the half, I thought they, uh, they played well. Um, I don't have the stat book in front of me, but I think someone told me it was maybe 1.2 yards per attempt, I think, in the running game and stuff like that. I, I really felt like they, they got after them um, you know, early and often. Um, two-minute drive, though, is something that uh, you know, we got to get better at. You guys had a lot of really good looks on third down offensively. Trevor missed a couple throws early on, but you still were, I think, four of your first six. How did you feel like it went for you on third down? Yeah, that was something we talked about this week and wanted to do better in is the third down scenarios. And I uh, felt like the first unit was able to do that tonight. Um, and, you know, we still missed. You know, we still missed some opportunities, which, uh, again, we got a little time here to learn from and correct and, and uh, as, we, as we finish up uh, camp here in a week or so. Those are obviously long kicks, but how do you evaluate Santoso tonight? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, you know, obviously not good enough. You know, we had a chance to, to win the game, had a chance to, to start the game, you know, three nothing, and um, you know, it's it's disappointing. Uh, but uh, I know he'll 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 battle back this week and and uh, try to correct it. Is everything all right with Shaq Griffin? Yeah, he had just had a little, uh, I think, some back tightness this morning when he woke up, and so we tried to get him loose and. You know, I, again, the, the, the nature of where we are in camp and stuff, you just don't want to, you know, push guys like that and, and risk further injury. Uh, Doug, for a second consecutive week, uh, your starters come out with a lead. How, how hard is it to separate that from, you know, the reserves and a lot of guys who aren't going to make the team, but you end up losing considering where this club was a year ago. You talk so much about healing. I imagine winning a game would have met something even though it was the preseason. Yeah, you know, and that's, that's, a, that's a fine line, obviously, you know, and, and there's still a lot of, I think there's a lot of good positive takeaways from, from tonight, you know, with the, with the starters and, and feel good there. And, and um, you know, the young guys are going to learn. There were some good things that they did. Um, but, you know, obviously the, 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 the sort of the obvious things, right, are, are you know, we can't turn the ball over uh, in the red zone. We got, we got points there again, uh, potentially. And, you know, um, you know, we got to tackle better and, you know, th things of that nature in the second half. But I think if you look at where we are as um, starters, you know, uh, I think we're right on track to where we where we need to be and where we want to be. And, and that gives us a lot of um, a lot of hope as we head into the, you know, head into the regular season. Certainly you need to look at the film, but could you get an idea of Ben Barch tonight? at left guard, and was there any separation for either one of the two right tackles? I think it's going to be early until we watch the film and really, uh, you know, chop it up in the morning um, and, and really see. But, uh, oh, you know, I thought overall pretty good. You know, it was a good test, too. You know, you know TJ's out there. TJ Watt's out there playing the first couple of series. And, you know, it was good for our tackles to play against him and, and um, you know, get some work in that way. So we'll, we'll evaluate the film in the morning and probably have a better, uh, you know, determination on that. Doug, you didn't finish with touchdowns offensively, but drove in the first half with the starting unit. How do you assess that? Yeah, not good enough. You know, not good enough. We got to finish drives with uh, with scores. You know, and and um, that's something we talk about and, and work on. You know, quite a bit with the red zone, and, and we just got to keep working. You know, the offense understands that one, we got to run the football in the red zone. You know, number one, and we tried to do that tonight, and and um, you know that wasn't good enough. And uh, we just got to keep keep plugging away. You know, and 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 look at it and. Um, you know, get better and, and make sure we get the right guys in there and, and uh, you know, get ready here in a couple of weeks. Doug, the um, uh, Chad Buma starting the night, almost making that, that interception on the sideline um, and then not making, being able to make the tackle on the touchdown uh, pass. How do you evaluate your inside linebacking room, especially with Devin missing most of training camp? Are you comfortable right now with Shaq Quarterman and Chad Buma in that kind of that interior rotating role? Um, you know, right now, obviously, it, it with with Devin not being out there, it, it definitely kind of weakens the core because um, both Chad and, and Shaq are also special teams players, and they're getting a lot of a lot of double work out there, and, and it can it can play um, you know a little bit into the fatigue factor, especially in the second half of football games. But you know, these guys have have done done well. They've played well, and and um, um, you know they they. It, it, the more time they get on the field, the, the better they're going to become. And these, these are valuable reps for them, even in, you know, Devin's absence right now. And, and, um, but at some point, we've got to get Devin back on the field, too, and, and really help that room out. Coach, 
Um, this month is the league's play initiative, and a lot of prep athletes were able to come to games through the first two preseason games. Obviously, you guys are at Episcopal. Just what does it mean to be able to see some of those younger guys see you guys up close and have that experience? Yeah, you know, our hats off to Episcopal for allowing us to come out there for camp and, and be a part of their, um, you know, their school, you know, for the last uh, four weeks or so. And and then to have, you know, their team came out to practice one day and then to see all the, you know, all the youth that are that are involved. I, I just think it's a, it's encouraging to see, you know, that uh, at the youth level um, and, and really for them to be a part of, you know, our guys and, and for us to kind of rub shoulders with them and, and uh, see what it's all about, you know, and, and some of these young kids have hopes and dreams to one day be, you know, on this stage and, and um, you know, to, to, to see our guys do it and, and what they go through, I think, can be motivating to them to, to work hard at it. Doug, what are you seeing out of Dewan Smoot and Arden Key? Really good things, honestly. Um, two, two players that are, um, I think, dynamic pass rushers. You know, uh, Smoot's a little different. You know, he's more of a bull type guy. He's physical and strong. Arden's quick and slithery and, and uh, can bend. And uh, I think both of them have unique skills that uh, obviously we can, you know, we can exploit defensively uh, for us. And uh, uh, I think they're both having a really good camp right now. Doug, I uh, apologize if you've already been asked this. Uh, could you just talk a little bit about not being able to finish some of those first half scoring drive, first and, first and 10 at the 12. Uh, Trevor had a couple third down throws to Christian where it was there. He just, one instance, he let him too much, yep. the ball was too yep. high. Well, I, you know, I made a con conscious effort, you know, as a play caller when we did get the red zone tonight that we were going to focus a little bit on the run game. And, you know, we kind of pride ourselves on that, being able to run the football in the, you know, in the red zone. And we've got to do a little bit better there. And, and um, you know, in, in Trevor's case, we, we just got to get him to kind of calm down early in the football game and settle in. There were some there were some throws that were missed that I know he would want back, and and uh, we've seen him make those throws in practice, so we know he's capable of doing it. Uh, it's just a matter of just kind of taking a deep breath as he as he starts the game and and uh, and settle in. But those are those are all things that we continue to work on. You know, we got a couple weeks left here in camp, and and uh, we try to get better. Doug. Um. In terms of the play calling in the red zone, was it a little more, I guess, less van vanilla than it was uh, last week against Cleveland, or was it more just a lack of execution this week from your guys? It's a little both. And again, you know, when you're in, when you're in preseason mode, you don't necessarily scheme your opponent, you know, because they're playing some guys and we're playing some guys, and you, you just want to see execution. So, um, you know, where we missed was on that part of it, just just execution. I, I give give credit to, to Pittsburgh. I mean, they, they made some plays down there and, and, and got some stops that, um, you know, um, led to one field goal for us. Obviously, should have had the second one or the first one, I guess. But those are all areas that we're going to take a look at this tape and, and uh, make the corrections. Okay. Doug, thank you, sir. You got another one? Last one, Gene. Oh, sure. Last question here. Uh, Foley went down early in the game. Is there any update on him? Not at this time. Uh, I'm going to wait till the guys come in in the morning. You know, get a full medical. Uh, we'll see where he's at. Uh, last word I got was he was okay. He wanted to go back in the football game, but we just said, you know, pump the brakes and 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 we'll get him we'll get him healthy. So we'll, I'll 